Bad Plays Games. Today we're making Wurst Goulash. And we're gonna start with an onion, some garlic, some German sausages. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin, 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 bulletin. We interrupt this program. Wildfires are out of control on all seven continents. The air is unbreathable. The world is in chaos. Worldwide food shortages. 95% of the population is without clean drinking water. Mother Earth is no longer inhabitable. But all is not lost. There is one man. He's just amazing. The best humanity has to offer. Bad. A space engineer. His name is Chief Engineer Bad. Hi, my name is Chief Engineer Bed, and I'm Chief Engineer for a company called Future Frontiers. Planet Earth is completely uninhabitable. I've been tasked to land on this newly discovered planet called Pertum to explore, build the infrastructure required to escape the star system, and find the rumored planet called Paradise. I've heard resources on this planet are quite scarce, however, our ore detector did happen to pick up a nickel mine right below us when we landed. What is that? This planet was rumored uninhabited. Alright, got down to the nickel. That didn't take too long, although it was quite deep. I'm surprised by how deep it was. Climb out of this hole and go drop off a load to start processing. Maybe we get some stone to process as well. And I need to remember to grab my hydrogen bottle so I don't accidentally kill myself. Okay, let's queue up a bunch of ingots. 10,000 to start should be a good number. Okay, we've got the stone processed. We'll have to do the nickel later after we get a basic assembler online, which is something we should probably work towards doing uh, immediately. start digging out dirt right here. Boy, I am quite thirsty already. I'm gonna have to dip into my little tiny stash that I have, and we're gonna have to work on getting production up and running, because otherwise we're gonna starve. Or die of thirst. Start a little base just right here. It doesn't have to be anything great. It just needs to work. Start with a basic refinery and assembler, and then we'll need to get a wind turbine. I'm just gonna run about 20 trips of stone up there while we get our product while we get our production started. Kinda wanna get that unknown signal, but I don't really want to fly two kilometers on my jetpack. I think uh I think that's a bad idea. Maybe we'll get lucky and this is ice right here. Silicon. Put a wind turbine right up there. And that can help power ours at the start here. I think this might be the last rotor we need. Excellent. Yes, there. 
refinery. Now we need power. Hmm. I think I do want to get the wind turbine built before the assembler. All right, now we'll go back to making stone runs. This is so tedious. Energy's low already. Because of the scarcity of resources, we're going to have to visit uh, several planets and moons to get all the items we're going to need to get production facilities set up to be able to build to be able to build the ship of the size we need with the appropriate jump drives so that we can make it out to our destination, which we'll cover later. Excellent. We're getting there. That last run through got us a ton of iron. I mean, we've probably done 60 of these little passes so far. <laughs> But that's all space engineers. That's the beginning, anyway. Yeah, buddy. Do we have enough power? Sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's build us a little ramp to get up. Can't even do that. processing. Now, I should probably be armed, but... Oh, that was stupid to take all the items. Give me that back. I need this and this and this. Because I need to add the build planner. Or, excuse me, I need to build all the parts. For the assembler. Basic assembler. We cancel those steel plates right there because we don't need them to complete the block. It's just for the added protection. I've already kind of wasted seven steel plates doing that. And since I get scrap back when I grind these items down, that was a waste. But, that's okay. We're just starting out, and we're already doing pretty well. Oh, prematurely ran over before I had a <laughs> two computers left. Awesome! Awesome. We're doing it. Right, I think we're gonna eat and drink again, yeah. Supplies we were sent by Future Frontiers is holding up nicely. We should be able to get everything built that we need to. I think. Alright, I know I said I wasn't going to do it a lot, but... It would be really lucky for us if we stumbled upon an iron mine. So I think I'm going to just fly up just a little bit. Look around for some more ore deposits. And then that's nickel. That's silicon. And there's our hope. Hope it's iron. Try to get a, um, a rover built so we can get driving around. Make this a lot easier. It's iron. What luck. Oh. Oh, that sounded almost sarcastic. Seriously, what luck? <laughs> uh, 
Oh, awesome. This... I'm really ecstatic, actually. Really shouldn't be wasting my jetpack. I uh, can't help it, though. Running back and forth. <laughs> Especially not having a rover is a pain in the butt. And I didn't put a GPS marker down. Uh, it's somewhere over there, I think. Yeah. Be able to find it again. Let me turn off the assembler. We don't have enough power to run both, that's what that sound is, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get some of those and some of those. Steel plates and interior plates, and let's get another wind turbine prepped. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, is that optimal, or did I go one too many? It's a little bit of inefficiency won't kill us. This isn't fix it. That's a satisfactory joke. I can hear you thinking it, you're saying, bad. that's not even a joke. I say it was. All right, get some water recycling going. That's gonna be very, very helpful. The sunset over there. Making that the west. Making that north? Oh my gosh, did I build the wrong thing? No, that's right. Look at this beautiful sky. Perfect. That should give us enough power to run everything we need at once, I hope. We'll find out in just a moment. And I shouldn't be wasting hydrogen. Ah! I'm so bad at that. There we go. I'm tempted to turn this into a rover, except. So the battery. I'm tempted to turn this into a rover, excuse me, because the battery is very important. However, we can't survive without the survival kit, so I can't really risk taking it out and crashing, which is something I frequently do. Not a very good chief engineer. I just said I was one. And even that was pretend. Alright, what's next? Let's think about it. Next would probably be building a rover, because we need ice for survival. That's going to be very, very important. So to that end, it would be nice to have storage as well. Except I don't think I can build any cargo without metal grids, which means I need cobalt. And cobalt, I don't have. And let's get a light build so we can see. Nothing worse than being in darkness. What is happening? Alrighty, let's turn the light way up. Intensity down. Change it to pinkish. There, now I can turn my head, or my I can turn my flashlight off and save a little bit of power in my suit, which is itself running a little bit low. Okay, actually, before a rover, an ice would be nice, but what we really need the most is food. So let's look, let's get the f food resequencer. Should be built first. All right, well, so let's do it. Let's go get another trip of iron.
I was just thinking about building a rover, and I realized we're going to need... Let's see... Yeah, we're going to need large steel tubes, which we can't make. Right? I'm pretty sure we need a regular assembler for that. Oh, we can. That's wonderful. Queue up reclaimed water and synthetic food is probably all we're going to be able to get. Yeah, let's turn our gravel into food. Where did I deposit all of that food? I must have accidentally clicked it somewhere. If it didn't, we're in a whole lot of trouble. Here we go. Perfect. Let's grab some gravel out of here. Oh good. Okay. We have food and water. We just have a very limited supply. So that's really good to know. We're going to need to find ice. That is going to be imperative. I don't really want to leave the base area. But we need to. Needs must, right? So let's do it. Let's build a rover. To build a rover, we're going to need to start with a landing gear. And we're going to need a cockpit. That's right, wait a minute, where's stupid progression? Suspension is locked behind the landing gear. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, let's build a landing gear. Okay, perfect. Lift it up just a tiniest bit for ease. This isn't gonna be a very large rover. More of a buggy. That's right, I forgot I gotta build the landing gear. I haven't built a rover in a while. I'm not a very talented shipbuilder, to be honest. But I'm gonna do my best. And hopefully we're gonna have a little bit of fun on the way. I'm excited. I have been missing Space Engineers and I haven't played in a while. And there's actually... Um, I have all the DLCs, so we'll be able to use them all, but I haven't used any automatons yet or anything. What's happening? Oh no. Not sure I want to, <laughs> I didn't, I don't want lightning. All right, let's go with off road suspension left and right. Left rear, left forward, right rear, and right forward. Because of a handy dandy little quality of life mod called queuing quota, something like that, I can go in here and not have to use scripts, but I can just use a mod now to have all these things built. So let's have. 20 construction components all the time, 10 girders, 5 metal grids, this is going to have to go up in value pretty quick, I just... Just going off the top of my head here. There, that looks pretty good for now. Perfect. Alright, although instead of being dumb and losing all of my stuff to scrap, let's, let's be a little bit more cautious and thoughtful about what we're doing. We're going to need a cockpit. Oops. Oh, 
We're gonna need a battery. Batteries are gonna be heavy. Let's put it in the middle, I guess. Brilliant. Okay, we've got a battery. So now we can drive. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not yet, we can't. Let's get this welded up because this ship is almost done. We're just going to need to add a gyroscope to it and... Uh, let's see. Ore detector. That quota mod is so useful. I remember when I finally started using scripts to play. And you could get some management scripts that will do what the quota mod does now. It's just such a great quality of life. It's so much more fun to play when you have resources waiting for you all the time. Rod of iron. Oh dear. Nailed it. Okay. Gyroscope. Detector or or detector. Okay. Brilliant. I love it. I love the smell of engineering in the morning. Let's set up our little rover. The cockpit, we're gonna want to be able to turn the handbrake on and off. What else? Eventually we want battery to swap recharge. Gyroscope, we might, we probably won't need to set it to override. Sometimes if you get flipped over, you can turn your gyroscope on to crank your vehicle so hard it'll just flip itself. Probably won't need to do that. We will probably want to group all of the wheels together. Actually, let me rename these. Let's do wheel RR for right rear. Wheel RF for right front. It's probably not the best convention, but it'll work. And I'm happy with it. Wheel left front. Wheel left rear. Perfect. So left rear, right rear. We don't want to steer, I don't think. And the front ones we don't want to break. And all of them together, let's add them to a group. Like uh, wheels. We'll do decrease power and increase power. I think that should be enough. I just want to make sure we don't start going too fast. Okay, yep, see, that's way too much power. All right, slow down. I'm also going to want to max, or um, let's just t take the whole group decrease the speed limit like 30 kilometers an hour 29 kilometers an hour so decrease speed limit and increase speed limit what's that sound This thing appear to be struggling so hard. It's a pretty very simple build. It shouldn't be struggling that hard. All right, let's turn the ore detector's range all the way up. That's going to be bad for our battery, but good for our hunt for ice. It's a bit cheaty, but we can zoom all the way back to easily look for deposits. Yeah, that seems too cheaty. What 
Oh good, I'm pleased with this. And look at that battery power, it's 20 hours just cruising at this speed. So we should be able to get out and find some ice. I think we're heading in the general east direction. I'm pretty sure with the new automaton stuff, although I've looked at very little of it. I just bought it so I could play with it. And I, ooh, an error deposit right in front of us. I do believe I can make drones that have cameras on it that will fly above us, so it'll be like our eye in the sky type of thing. Silicon. So that'd be pretty cool. Hey, another one up here. I mean, up here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Normally I've been playing Satisfactory, which is one of my favorite games, but another one of my favorite games is Space Engineers. And I'll tell you what, I'm already having it, <laughs> it's already a way different experience thinking about how I'm going to play and edit, because this game makes me think a lot more focused than Satisfactory does. Silicon and nickel here. I'd like to find some magnesium as well so I could build some weapons. really hard not to just pull it to third person view and scroll way far out to look. Maybe I'm okay with it. Or heck, I should see what the automaton blocks take and maybe we can build ourselves a camera drone like way before I'm thinking we could. Oh, I do see another ore deposit right in front of us. I thought I saw one when I was up in the sky a second ago, but Hope it's ice. Oh, this is the iron one. Good to know. I was planning to just kind of go around in a circle, but I know already that there's nickel and silicon that way. Maybe we can try to mount this mountain. Ascend it, not mount it. Need more power. Hmm, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, let's go up here. This will give us a way better vantage point. I didn't put a beacon or antenna on it, so I'm not going to be able to see this on the HUD. So I need to remember not to walk away and lose it. Perhaps there. That looks like a deposit. Maybe right there. I think I can find it if I fly over there. Nope, not a deposit. Let's go back, check that other one. Oh man, yep, yeah. might have been too steep. It's actually handling pretty well. I appreciate that. Okay, you know what? It most... Most surely is because of my gyroscope that I'm having this issue. I don't know if you can see it. I'm kind of shaking. Turn the gyro off and try it. Oh, another. Is this two right next to each other? This would be awesome if it was ice. I probably don't need all of these deposits because I'm surely not going to run out before I want to leave the planet. But I also think it'll help uh, show where I've explored, sort of.
Oh, the dark spot is ice. Oh, excellent. Ice and iron. This is probably a better spot to set up a permanent base, but... Uh, it's only over, just over one kilometer. We'll be fine. But we can breathe a sigh of relief. Having found ice, we're no longer going to starve to death. Assuming, you know, reavers don't blow us up or whatever. I'm going to go straight down, and then I'm going to build a, probably a ground-mounted base, uh, large, large grid drill. We'll harvest all of it, and then we'll be set, hopefully, till we can explore the rest of the planet. And you know what? I can use my jetpack all I want now, which is going to make life a lot better. Ice. Ice, baby. Oh, is this another ice deposit? I think it might be. Yeah, okay, so these dark ones are ice. It is way more plentiful with a scarce resources mod on than I thought it was going to be. I'm not complaining. I'm just... Well, actually, now that I say that out loud, I'm not complaining, but I think perhaps maybe I didn't put scarce resources on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. I double-checked it. I'll put a list of all the mods I'm using down in the description below so you can peruse them. If you see one you don't recognize, just ask and I can let you know what it does. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. And if I think about it, I'll even put links to the workshop right in the description. Alright, let's get plenty of drinking water made. And let's get an O2, an H2, O2 H2 generator. Is that what I want to do? It is actually, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's anything more pressing. Except perhaps finding cobalt. So we can build thrusters and stuff. So we should paint this guy. Let's see. Oh, the paint gun. I've never used that. I don't know how to do it, honestly. It's plastic armor. <laughs> I like it. Paint it all green. And then give it some white accents. Let's go Spartans. There. I love it. It's my... <laughs> uh, I'm not a great rover or shipbuilder. Have I mentioned that? If I haven't mentioned it yet, I probably edited out all the other times I said it. <laughs> okay, what do we do now? We need to find cobalt so I could go out driving more. But honestly, now that we found ice and it's no longer as pressing of a need, I think I might want to try to get airborne first to explore for that. Because I should be able to steal these atmospheric thrusters. We need to make something to get that... We need to pull this survival kit out of this thing and hide it somewhere. Make sure it stays safe. Yeah, I think I'd like to start making my way generally that way. To make a base of operations because... One, two, three, four, five of our target planets and moons are over that direction. So... There's ice everywhere. Come on, cobalt. Need cobalt and magnesium. I've checked probably 15 now. Just finding the same things over and over again. Being silicon, nickel, and iron. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe try to head a different direction? <laughs> so many checked. Tell you what though, I think just from an enjoyment aspect for me playing the game and for you watching me play the game, I think maybe I'll go and try to build something else to make this more interesting. That being maybe like a large grid ship, a large grid rover that we can put a large grid ore detector on it. So we can drive around and leave the confines of our starter base 
In fact, we could probably pack it up and take it with us. But we have to hide that survival kit first. Alright, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fly back. My guess is... I didn't read the description of this, but my guess is that it's at the poles. I'm pretty sure the Scarce Resources mod said that Pertum was a harder start than the Earth-like planet. But they were both encouraged as, the, as your choice because otherwise you can't get kobold. Other than that, I didn't read it which planet or moon had which resource because I wanted to have to discover it on my own. Okay, well. I think let's end it right there. Next episode we'll come back, we'll build a large grid rover with a large grid ore detector, and we will take our base on the road. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Bad plays game. Bad plays.